broken Apple charger with a frayed cord, here we will show you how to save $99. This is an overview of the tools that you will need. Start by cutting off the old cord. Then pry open the case as shown. This may take a while and requires quite a force. You may use a flat blade screwdriver to assist. You should be left with these components. Cut the cable grommet off and place it upside down in a vise, cutting off any excess to make a flat surface. With a suitably sized drill bit, drill out the cable that used to be there, being careful not to damage the rubber as the drill bit passes through. Then make a fresh cut in the MagSafe cord, taking into account any other damage to the cord that may need to be removed. Thread this through the grommet. Cut back the heat shrink around the output terminals and remove the leftover wire. Be very careful not to dislodge or damage surface mount components while doing this. You can then tin the wire. Strip back the MagSafe cord and tin the wires. Cut a small length of red and black wire and solder it onto the MagSafe cord. Then cover this with some heat shrink, as shown. Bring the grommet up to the cable as far as it will go. You will then need to bend the wires and cut approximately depending on your heat shrink as shown in this photo. You can then solder the wires onto the circuit board, remembering that the core of the cable, the red, goes to the VCC terminal and the shield or outer of the cable, the black, goes to ground. It is then a case of making the grommet fit back in place and reassembling the case. We used super glue to hold the case together. Remember to provide some form of strain relief for the cable. In our case, we use super glue inside the grommet, accompanied by a cable tie. Please exercise caution when plugging in the charger for the first time after the repair. Job done.